Hello! Just got back from the grocery store. So let's start this video with a little grocery haul. We didn't go crazy. We didn't do like a massive shopping spree, you know? So first, chicken on sale. Incredible. I got this salad kit. I know salad kits aren't always the best or whatever. However, I bought one from H-E-B like a week or two ago and it was so good. So I want to try another one. This one has Parmesan cheese, Italian dressing, sun-dried tomatoes. That's what drew me in. Herb seasoning, green onions, and carrots. These tuna packets I love for an easy quick lunch. Some apples, sweet potatoes, Mootopia high protein milk. I like to use the chocolate one for Ninja Creamies. Speaking of Ninja Creamies, I'm going to mix these in later. I'll show you. I'm very excited. I got a coffee creamer. This one's white chocolate mocha, Ritz crackers, and bread crumbs which we're gonna use for dinner tonight. It was actually super super nice going to H-E-B like right after the work day because there was like nobody there so it was a short trip anyway but it was like very fast and you know it was great. What I thought was funny is when we first moved here we realized they kept all the grocery carts outside because like why would you need to keep them inside right but in Wisconsin they're always kept inside because it gets cold so crazy anyways it's time for dinner i'm so so freaking hungry last weekend i made homemade chicken nuggets and they turned out so good so that is what we're doing basically you start by cutting your chicken just into like little nuggets i think it says like one inch cubes but just however big you want your little nuggies to be you know then you melt some butter and add olive oil paprika garlic powder oregano salt and pepper mix that together then you just mix the chicken and your spice butter mixture all together. Some of these nuggets are huge. <laughs> My bad. It'll be fine. Then we add in our breadcrumbs. Put the lid on, or it technically tells you to do this part in a Ziploc bag. Make sure the lid is on super tight, and then you give her a good mix. This is like just to coat all the chicken and the breadcrumbs. Obviously, last time I did this, I didn't secure the lid all the way, and literally breadcrumbs everywhere, so just be careful. Then, all we do is, of course, throw them in the air fryer. Literally, so easy. And with it, we're also gonna do some air fryer sweet potatoes, which I learned, I've been holding a knife wrong my entire life. So I mentioned at the beginning of this year that I wanted to take a cooking class. I feel like I just never learned how to cook. And so yesterday, actually, I just started a class on Skillshare. The cooking learning path I started was called Expand Your Cooking Skills to Prepare Dishes with Style. It's a series of a few different classes. And yesterday in the beginning was just kind of the most common ways to cut things and whatnot in the kitchen. And something crazy I learned was that the way you cut certain things can actually affect how the overall dish tastes, which I like never would have thought. You know, like a cut is a cut, but then again, a cut is not actually just a cut. And then tomorrow I'll start the next portion, which kind of goes into like how to cook with intuition, which I just simply don't have, but I want to learn to have. And I think that's just such a good life skill, you know, like knowing what needs more of what flavor or like if you make a mistake, then how do you kind of correct it? Stuff like that. If you haven't heard of Skillshare, which honestly I'd be surprised if you haven't, they are the largest online learning community for creatives. There are literally thousands of classes led by professionals in different industries across film, illustration, design, painting, crafting, cooking clearly, music, and beyond. I think it's really important to invest in yourself and so having the mindset of kind of like always learning and doing things to better yourself is something I'm really into and I think Skillshare can really help with that. And if you don't know where to start, Skillshare has several different learning paths which are essentially handpicked classes that you take in order and build off of each other to take you from whatever level you're at to a pro over time. I've been having so much fun with this and I actually have used Skillshare in the past this week is not like the first time I've ever taken a class, which is really exciting and full circle. So a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And for you, the first 500 people that use my link in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So be one of the first 500. Now to cut up this sweet potato, actually holding my knife the correct way. I want to make these more into like fries. So kind of vertical strips. However, I haven't done this on a potato yet, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out. But you know what? We're learning every day. I'm totally messing up, but okay, this is actually like really hard. This is about half the sweet potato. I'm just gonna throw some olive oil, salt, and pepper, and coat these. And now we'll swap out these in the air fryer next. 
I am so excited about this and what a quick and easy dinner too. I love the air fryer and actually these pieces turned out to be pretty good size for little sweet potato fries. I do air fry sweet potatoes like actually all the time, but this is the first time I've really done fries and I'm excited about fries instead of just like little weird shaped pieces that I normally do. I'm actually a really big ketchup girl and I have been my entire life. I love ranch, don't get me wrong, but I'm a big ketchup girl. Fries, well, I don't know about sweet potato fries, but fries, nuggets, tenders, whatever. I just love ketchup. However, we don't have any ketchup, but we have these um, leftover from ordering food one time, so it'll do. It'll do. Now that's much better. We'll do a little taste test before I go sit down with some Love is Blind and enjoy this. So good. In my head, I always thought homemade nuggets would be so hard. They're so easy, they're so quick. Definitely try them. I always love a good sweet potato. And they're great for you too. Classic dinner. It's Wednesday, so like the episode where they're at the altar is dropped. Let me know if you're watching. Season six, pretty wild. I know. We're, We're getting married. So Over the last couple days. The day you call me a post meal walk is always a must. It is getting pretty dark out. There's some lights outside, but because we went to the grocery store right after the workday, we like ran out of daylight, you know, pretty quick. So we'll see what we can do. We might stop at the park if the walk is pretty short. Are we going for a walk? What do you see? What do you see? So he literally goes crazy when he finds another dog's ball in the park. But if we bring our own tennis ball, he just doesn't really care about it. I mean, it's totally because it smells like other dogs and stuff, but it's crazy how happy it makes him. Like his tail goes nuts when he finds another dog's ball. <laughs> it's, just, it's cute. He misses his friends. He wishes they were at the park with him. Where are they? <laughs> he can't make it. Guess what time it is? Ninja creamy time. You know, I kind of struggle with the idea of a night routine. Like, I don't know, nights are just like way different than mornings in my head. This Ninja Creamy is high protein milk, the Mootopia, with one scoop of salted peanut butter protein powder and one serving of the PB Fit powder. And we'll put it in the creamy on light ice cream. Now we add in some of these. I picked up the minis. I haven't done this combination yet. I love Reese's peanut butter cups, but this is only my second time doing the peanut butter ice cream. It was so good last time. Then we do the mix-in option. Look at that. Like, look at that texture. You can just tell. It turns out so good every single time. I will never stop raving about the Ninja Creamy. It was so good. It is such a good way to get in more protein. I use the high protein milk. This is one cup, so it's 13 grams, plus a scoop of protein powder, 20 more grams, plus PB Fit, eight more grams. Like this thing is loaded. You know, sometimes you might not need that much protein, but I always do have some. But I usually have some in the freezer ready to go. Those are just plain chocolate. So I used literally just this milk with a little bit of sugar-free Jello pudding powder. When I fill the entire pint, I usually share it, but this, even though it looks pretty full since it was mixed, it's only like one cup of milk. This I will usually eat all to myself. Mm. But it's just so crazy to me that you can actually make really good desserts that are completely healthy. I also love making a strawberry sorbet. I'll just put some frozen strawberries in here. I'll let it sit out a little bit so that it can melt. Cut up the strawberries and then there's kind of that extra like juice, you know? Literally throw in a little bit of milk, maybe a little honey. Freeze it, mix it up, and it's a sorbet. Like it literally, it, it's so good. And I'm such a big frozen treats girl. This, definitely my second favorite kitchen appliance. I have to say second because the Nespresso, like I just, I gotta put the Nespresso first. I've had this creamy since I believe September and I seriously use it all the time. Don't buy it if you truly aren't gonna use it, but like I seriously have been using this almost every single night. That is honestly part of my night routine, right? Like I typically make dinner, we walk Duncan, maybe I'll do some work, maybe we'll watch a little something, whatever, I'll have a Ninja Creamy and then I'll start getting ready for bed in a little bit. I don't like to eat too late because if I do eat too late close to bedtime, I always feel kind of weird the next day. So 
I try to eat the ice cream at a reasonable time, but I also feel like because I've been lifting so much, I burn through food so much faster. So like eating dinner, because we usually eat dinner early, like I'm talking 5 p.m. I had dinner a little bit later today just because we went grocery shopping first, obviously, but I literally eat dinner at like 5 p.m. usually because it's just how it works for me. And so I want ice cream by like 7.30, I'll be done eating before eight o'clock and that just kind of works out for me. Mm. Something I kind of wanted to mention, <laughs> this is so funny to me, me and my little blank wall because we don't have any decorations because just haven't really been looked for that stuff just yet. It's crazy, we've officially been here two months. It honestly feels longer than that, like in a good way, which I think is a really good thing. But if you watch my last vlog, I filmed it last week, like a week ago, and I was talking about how I was feeling so good all week, which I really was, and then this past weekend, I had friends in town visiting, which was so much fun. But obviously, like, we ate, we drank, we did all the stuff. Like, it's not like I treated my body that well. I didn't work out Friday or Saturday. I was a little bit off. However, we dropped them off at the airport Monday morning. I caught up on some sleep, and then I hit the gym, and I kind of just, like, resumed back to routine. And I thought that I was going to feel kind of bad all week, but I, like, just feel so normal and so good. And I think that really just speaks loud, too, when you actually stick to your habits daily when you have weekends that are really off not that you should just go wild every single weekend and be perfect on the weeks you know i don't think that's a really good mindset but when you do have one weekend in particular when things are quite off for example i had people here all weekend we were out and about doing stuff literally all weekend i think it just speaks volumes to when you're actually consistent and working towards stuff it's so much easier to kind of bounce back and i'm sure my body is like still adjusting whatever and recovering and whatever i never really drink i like don't even eat out that often but obviously like all weekend was you know kind of crazy with that stuff and i'm not mad about it but like i was honestly expecting my body and like my mind with my body to feel worse during this week and i'm just really happy that i don't feel that way you know part of it is maybe just like mind over matter i was so excited to get to the gym monday morning i cannot even tell you like I was so excited. Like I said, they were here all day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I originally was like, okay, I can at least work out Friday or Saturday. It just didn't happen. It just didn't happen. And I'm usually really good about working out on some weekend days. So for one weekend, for it to just not happen, it's totally okay. But working out Thursday and then not again until Monday is not normal for me. And so I was literally so excited. Like I was just, I marched in that gym and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna kill it today. I had such a good workout. My body was very tired, of course. Like I was behind on sleep, my nutrition was off, whatever. But I just, I just wanna remind you that consistency really helps you in the long run. You know, it's just really so valuable to be as consistent as you can with your daily habits. Of course, without going overboard or driving yourself crazy, but like, I'm just so happy that I feel this good. And this weekend, I'll probably have a chill weekend. I'm not gonna do <laughs> as much as I did last weekend, but I don't know, I'm just, I'm just happy about it. So keep pushing. Remember, consistency is key with literally everything in life. And that's my ice cream talk, really. This is so good. <laughs> Obviously, Reese's peanut butter cups aren't the healthiest thing for you, but it's all about balance, you know? And my protein goals, they're about to be crushed. Mm. Bit of a jump scare. We got a lot of redness going on. You see, I love showering at night. I just got out of the shower because number one, it feels so good to be all fresh and clean before you get into your bed and then you don't have like outside germs on you and like germs from the day entering your bed, you know? But then number two, when I take my makeup off, like I like to make the biggest mess and if I'm already in the shower, it's just so much easier. My skin has been hit or miss. It was really, really bad when I first moved understandably i still have like little itty bitty bumps of texture and i still get like deep acne on my chin so haven't necessarily made much improvements some days is better than others i don't know i've been using this cleanser by i literally don't even know how to say the brand is clinical is clinical i don't know i bought it from the med spa that i go to back in madison and then i have a morning serum and a night serum the night serum is the active serum i believe the day one has like vitamin c and stuff i'm only been using this for like two weeks. Also, keep in mind, it is March. Check in with your New Year's resolutions. One of mine is to, you know, not pick at my face and I cannot say I am actively avoiding that yet. I have a lot of work to do in that category. Moisturizer by that same brand. It's just after 9.30 and something I'm working on that I've been pretty good about this week is going to bed early. So starting my little nighttime routine in terms of like skincare and my little nighttime drink, that stuff, starting it at like 9, 9.30 is pretty good. You might even already know the drill because I've been showing this in a lot of videos lately. 
just like how I make protein coffee in like every video. I feel like lately I've been showing my little nighttime drink, but it's just fun. It's routine, it's what I do, you know? One scoop magnesium. This is strawberry kiwi flavor. I just ordered the chocolate sea salt flavor and I'm very excited to try that one. I'll show it to you, of course, when the day comes. And then we also do creatine. It might be weird that I take creatine at night. It's just what fits in my schedule, okay? I might change it down the line. We'll see. I seriously hate how red my face is right now. I'm like so self-conscious about it. It's crazy because like growing up, like, you know, people think about like people struggling with acne more so like during puberty. And like I had like a few pimples here and there growing up, but I was never like self-conscious, I feel like, of my face. And then all of a sudden I like turn, I don't know, 24-ish maybe. Probably happened before my 25th birthday. I don't know. But then all of a sudden I'm just like the acne. The acne. It also could have been from going off birth control. I think I was 23, 24 when I went off. I don't know, and then maybe just the flood. The flood came in after that, and my skin hasn't adjusted since. It's been two years, and it just doesn't want to get rid of that. Okay, I'm sorry I sit here complaining when I literally haven't even been to a dermatologist, so I know that's really annoying. I'm sorry. However, I will say, my dairy consumption has been pretty low. I have way less cheese than normal. I do drink that milk that I showed you earlier, but that's lactose free. I do have Greek yogurt, which is dairy. But compared to like how I used to live, I do feel like I have a lot less dairy than normal. Thinking about my diet even a year ago today, it probably consisted of a lot more dairy. And I just wonder if that's like a thing for me, for my skin, I have no idea. Nighttime is definitely my favorite time to do my red light. You're supposed to do it multiple times a day for optimal use. It says two to three. I mean, you might as well do three if you got the time, you know, cause like get the most out of it. But my favorite time to do it is at night. It's just nice. I like to make my little drink, turn on a podcast or resume whatever one I was listening to last and just sit with the light for 10 minutes. It's calming part of the wind down process. I mentioned in my last video, I think, that I did go ahead and place an order for an aura ring and I am very excited about it. I think having that analytical data in terms of like recovery and how my sleep is and stuff like that will also help me want to get to bed earlier. So I kind of want to use that as another strategy. I got my little like ring sizer kit in and then I submitted my size. They just give you these little plastic rings to like make sure you order the right size. But I actually want to sleep with it on because I haven't slept with it on yet. Even though I already placed the order, like I want to feel like what it's going to be because I find that I, when I wake up, my fingers are a little swollen. It is crazy. I feel like how much your fingers can like shrink and swell. It's, it's wild. But I did try two different sizes and like wore them throughout the day. My fingers were swollen, they were not swollen, whatever. So I do think I made a good decision, but I wanna sleep with it on. I will also keep you updated when it comes and everything. I think they're like super on back order right now, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Also, in order for me to go to bed with peace in my head and wake up with efforts of minimizing the amount of like morning anxiety, you know, because I do feel like I am someone who wakes up and I'm like, I do this, 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 and this today or whatever. I always do such a big brain dump, whether it's like a to-do list or I don't know. I just like so many thoughts at night and in the morning that I just need to offload. I just need to like figure out what's like going on for tomorrow. And that honestly just puts me at ease. Look at my little baby. I do still have a little bit of drink left though, so I can't brush my teeth yet, but I'm like, other than that, all ready for bed. I'm gonna hop in bed and put on an episode of, I've been watching Sex in the City lately, like the series, and I'm gonna put on an episode and sip on my drink, and then I'll have to like hop out, like brush my teeth, whatever, do the mouth tape. I've been still loving the mouth tape, by the way. I've been doing it every single day. But yeah, remember the first 500 people that click the link in my description box can get one full month free of Skillshare. Highly recommend them. Like I said, I've used them prior. I was so happy to be reconnected with them and I think it's such a fun opportunity. There's so much to learn and so much out there. Thanks so much for hanging out tonight. Please subscribe if you have not and I hope to see you in my next one.